Hi, everyone. It's good to see you today. Do you like the purple cloth I have behind me? Today, we're going to be hearing the story of Lydia, who is the seller of beautiful purple cloth. Maybe you have some cloth or a blanket or some fabric or paper you could put out this morning on the table in front of you. Maybe you have a candle. You could also light a real one if you have the help of an adult or this battery candle, which we like to remember the light of Christ, who is, um, who is our teacher and our friend and the one in whom we follow. Let's now have a moment of prayer together. Let's pray. Holy God, we ask in this time that you help us to focus our hearts and minds, that you help us make space for you, that you help us be fully present here now. In this time, God, we ask in your, we ask that you hold everything in your heart that we hold in ours. We remember today people in our homes that we love, people at school, teachers and friends we care about. We see people in the news who need care, God. We see places in the world that need peace. We, we lift all of those people and places to you. God, you love us. We love you. And we give to you in this time all the things that sometimes weigh us down. So our, our fears, um, the things we worry about, maybe the hurts we have, the concerns we have for people or places. That like the waters of our baptisms that washed over us, we also remember, God, that your love covers us and your hope covers us. And, and we, we trust that we are never alone. May we always follow, God, the path that you make for us, that we might always be part of your dreams for this world. You call us, God, and we follow, and we offer our whole selves to you as children of God. Amen. Hello, and welcome to Sunday School. For the next few weeks, we're going to be looking at Bible studies that have to do with colors. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the colors of the rainbow. Do you know the colors of the rainbow? I have an easy way that I use to remember them. It's an acronym, and it's Roy G. Biv. So if you think of somebody's name as being Roy and his middle initial being G and his last name being Biv, those are the colors of the rainbow. So Roy is red, orange, yellow, G is green, and Biv is blue, indigo, and violet. Today's story, we're gonna be looking at violet. So we're starting right at the end of the rainbow. But a color um, that is very similar to violet is purple. They're very similar. You might call violet purple. And our story today is about a person named Lydia. Now, Lydia was a very successful businesswoman. She sold pur purple cloth. Now, purple cloth might not sound that special, but in the ancient world, when 2,000 years ago, when Lydia was a business person, it was. You see, purple was the color of royalty. And so all the kings and queens would need purple cloth to decorate their castles and their palaces and wear as clothes. And purple was also the hardest color of cloth to make because the dye you need to make purple cloth was the hardest to make. So let's read our story about Lydia. Paul traveled to many places, teaching people about Jesus. One night, God told Paul, go to another country and teach people there. Paul listened to God. He got on a big boat. Up and down, over the waves, the boat went, sailing to a far away country. When he got there, Paul taught. Jesus loves you, he said. Jesus came to earth to teach us how to live and has saved us all from our sins. An amazing woman named Lydia heard Paul's teaching. 
Unlike many other women of the time, Lydia had her own business. She sold beautiful, expensive purple cloth to rich and famous people. Lydia said to Paul, tell me more about Jesus. I want to learn everything I can about the Son of God. Paul told her about Jesus, saying, Love everyone, he said. Share with others, he continued. And most importantly, he finished, Remember that God loves you forever. Lydia was amazed. I want to be one of Jesus' followers, she exclaimed. Will you baptize me and everyone who lives in my house? Lydia, Paul, and all of the people who lived with Lydia in her house went to the water. They splashed into the cool wetness. Paul baptized each of them. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Lydia said, thank you. Will you stay at my house with my family? Paul said, sure, and went to stay with Lydia. Lydia became a follower of Jesus. She was very generous, using her money to help many people. God loves you. She told as many people as she could, God has saved you from your sins. Follow Jesus. He is the son of God. Many people learned from Lydia, the amazing woman who sold purple cloth. Well, that's a really good story, isn't it? It has some important lessons about being a disciple, the importance of being baptized, but it also has an important message about sharing. This week, why don't you see if there's somebody you can share with? I'll see you next week. Have a great day. Bye. Relating to the story of Lydia, which you just heard. Who here loves the color purple? I do. I'm wearing a purple shirt today in honor of Lydia and the story that we just heard. And I'm in front of the purple portion of our rainbow wall here in our craft room. And I want to talk about, have you ever mixed colors before? Do you know what colors make purple? That's right. Red and blue. So those are two primary colors. I thought it would be fun to mix them together and we can make our very own purple here. I have some blue food coloring. I'm just going to add one drop. There we go. And I have some red food coloring. Ooh, look at how wonderful that is. Some red food coloring. And I'm going to add two drops of it because it's not quite as bright as the blue. There we go. Can you see it floating in there? How do you think I'm going to get those to mix together? Hmm, I'm going to use this. <gasps> Look what we made. You can hardly see it through my shirt there, but we made the color purple. It's beautiful. I wonder if I have a piece of white paper I can hold up behind it like this. You can see how purple it is. It looks pretty dark on your screen, but in front of me, I assure you, it is very purple. In the story today, Lydia welcomes people into her home. So I thought it would be fun if we made a door knocker. Do you know what a door knocker is? Do you have a door on your bedroom? So these are really fun to make. I have paper, guess what color? Purple, that's right. Hmm. So I folded this purple piece of paper in half. That's a bit of a tongue twister, did you hear that? Purple piece of paper, try to say it five times fast. Not while cutting this pur purple piece of paper in half. Fold it in half the long way and then cut it in half along that same line with your scissors. There you go. Now you can make one for you and one for a friend. About a third of the way down this piece of paper, I'm going to cut a little bit of a line. And then I'm going to cut, once I've got that line, a circle. You might need a grown-up to help you with this. It's a little bit tricky to cut a circle. You could also try drawing it if you wanted before you cut it out. That might make it a little bit easier. And then you're just kind of tracing. 
There, now we have the shape of our door knocker and we can decorate it in whatever way I want. In whichever way you want. I'm gonna decorate mine however I want. But you can decorate yours in whatever way you want. You can make one for a brother or a sister or a neighbor or a friend. And I'm gonna put on mine Friends, welcome. I'm going to make some big bubble letters. F. Okay, there we go. Hopefully, really soon we'll be able to gather with our friends in our house, and you can put this up on the drawer to let them know that all are welcome. Okay, friends, now we've made two of these door knockers, one for you and one for a friend or a neighbor. You can give it away and when we can gather together safely, you can use these on your doors to welcome friends, just like Lydia welcomed Paul to her house. Remember, it is important to take care of each other and check in on each other and see how we're doing. I hope you'll do that with a friend of yours this week. Maybe give them a phone call or try to arrange a Zoom call or visit a friend who you get to see at school and remember to just check in on them, okay? See you soon.